Good morning. I'm Peter Milios from the Finance News Network. The Dow Jones Industrial Average slid on Wednesday as Wall Street resumed a holiday shortened week and digested the latest Federal Reserve meeting minutes for insights into the state of monetary policy. The release report signaled that most officials indicated further interest rate hikes could lie ahead. The minutes gave Wall Street additional context to the central bank's decision to skip a rate decision at the June meeting, but also signaled that they might raise rates twice more this year, beginning as soon as this month. Moving on, data released Wednesday morning also showed factory orders were weaker than expected in May. And later in the week, investors will watch for a batch of employment and wage data for insights into the strength of the labour market. Overnight, the 30 stock average lost 0.38%, the S&P 500 fell 0.2%. The Nasdaq Composite slipped 0.18%. Both the Dow and the S&P 500 ended three-day win streaks. In company news, biotech player Moderna saw a 1.5% increase in its stock after announcing an agreement to manufacture mRNA medicines in China. General Motors experienced a 1.2% climb in its stock as US sales rose by 18.8% in the second quarter. Shares of Wolfspeed surged 14% as the chipmaker company revealed a significant milestone, a decade-long supply agreement worth $2 billion with Renesas Electronics, ensuring the provision of silicon carbide bear and epitaxial wafers. However, shares of Coinbase declined by 2% after being downgraded by Piper Sandler, who noted that the recent surge in crypto prices did not translate into increased trading volume. Piper Sandler expects Coinbase to report its lowest trading volumes and monthly transacting users in over two years for the third quarter. On the EV front, Chinese electric vehicle company BYD is entering the Latin American lithium market to secure a greater supply of the crucial EV battery component. With plans to introduce advanced technology in Chile, develop R&D patents and collaborate with companies like SGM. And Australia anticipates a notable decrease in lithium prices in 2024 and 2025 due to increased global output despite doubling its own production, leading to a decline in Australia's share of global output from 50% to 40% by 2025. While Chile, China, Argentina, Canada and Zimbabwe are expected to contribute to the global supply growth. Overall, the US sectors closed mostly lower. Communications was the best performer. Lost materials was the worst. The SPY futures are pointing to a fall of 0.5%. Thank you for listening.